Hi, it's Toronto immigration lawyer Max Chaudhary. A lot of clients inquire with us about the business avenues for Canadian immigration. And there are many of those. The requirements tend to be similar from province to province and uh, one sort of template would be to look at the federal program. One of them is the startup visa program. That one is a bit unique because you have to comport with the definition of what's known as a qualifying business. So what that means is that you must possess a certain percentage of shares, minimally 10% of shares. The other unique aspect about the startup visa program is that you need to have a designated organization which can vouch for the viability of your business plan. In a nutshell, what happens is one of the designated organizations receives a proposal or a pitch about your business idea. And uh, consequently and subsequently to that, a venture capital fund must contribute either $200,000 or two what are called angel investor groups must contribute $150,000. There is a language requirement, so in either one of Canada's official language, you must have the benchmark, also known as CLB, of five. And just by uh, comparison to the one of the popular standardized tests, the ILETS test, that could mean a translation to an ILETS general level of about four or five. So there's a slightly lower level. And then uh, the other financial requirement relates to the need to have settlement funds for you and, if applicable, your dependents. So, for example, if you have a family of four, then as of 2020, the required amount of settlement funds would be about $24,000. Then the other programs are provincially based. So, in no particular order, I can talk about the Saskatchewan program. For that program, you must have a net worth of $500,000. There must be an investment in a venture in the province of Saskatchewan. The amount varies depending on the um, uh, location within Saskatchewan. So $200,000 to be invested or $300,000. The recommended language level is a little bit easier. It's CLB4. And you must demonstrate a minimum of four years of business experience. And that could be demonstrated through credible third-party documentation. So, and then the, the minimum business experience has to be demonstrated. It has to be four years in duration. And you'll notice with the other programs, there are similar requirements. For example, in the province of Prince Edward Island, you must possess a net worth of $600,000 and have uh, an amount of points of four on the general ILETS test. And in that province, PEI, you must make a minimum investment of $150,000. They have what's called a, faith, a good faith deposit of $200,000, which might be forfeited if you don't comply with the business proposal. Next, I would uh, talk about Ontario. And in terms of the standard requirements of net worth, it could be either 400,000 or 800,000. And similarly, the minimum investment could be either 200,000 or 600,000. And you must create either one or two jobs and have a CLB of four. And you must possess two years of business management experience. You'll notice that there was two different figures, the higher and the lower, and the lower figure would be the one in terms of settling in a less populous part of the province of Ontario. Another program is that of the Northwest Territories, where a candidate must possess a minimum net worth of 250 to 500,000, depending on the location within the Northwest Territories. But the candidate must invest anywhere from between 150 to 300,000 dollars, depending on the location in the Northwest Territories and they must possess a CLB language minimum of four. And there also is a requirement for a good faith deposit of $75,000, which is tied to the intention of you fulfilling the business programs requirements that you demonstrate, for example, in a business plan. 
The province of Manitoba, in terms of the business requirements for that province, it requires you to have a minimum of $500,000 net worth, three years of management experience, and you must invest between $150,000 or $250,000, depending on the location within the province of Manitoba. The language requirement must be at least at the CLB level of five. And then there is a program in the province of New Brunswick which requires you to have a net worth of $600,000, three years of management experience, and you must show you're going to demonstrate an investment of $250,000. There is a CLB minimum language requirement of five, and you must make a good faith deposit of $100,000, which may be forfeit if you don't comply with the proposal. Another province that has a specific uh, business program would be that of New Brunswick, where the candidate must have a net worth of $600,000, proof of three years of management experience, and they must show that they're going to invest $250,000 within the province of New Brunswick. They must make a good faith deposit of $100,000 and have a language level of uh, CLB5. Another program is the one offered in British Columbia where the requirement is to possess uh, between 300,000 and 600,000 in net worth, three to four years of business management experience, and there is a requirement to make an investment minimally of 100,000 or 200,000. The lesser requirement of 100,000 is for the regional pilot program. The requirement of English is relatively low with a CLB of five, or, or French. The Alberta program uses the federal startup program. In terms of the Yukon Territory, the candidate must have a net worth of $500,000 and five years of relevant business experience. They must invest a minimum of $300,000 in the Yukon Territory. And that's a general, very general overview of the requirements for business aspirants seeking immigration to Canada based on their business acumen. If you have any questions about immigration law, either in the business category, in other categories as well, contact us at Chaudhary Law Office. Thank you.